in the pantheon of martial arts, one legend stands tall. This is the tale of Masahiko Kimura, a figure so inspiring that his spirit was captured in the character of Yuichiro Hanma. From a gifted child grappling in the heart of Kumamoto to becoming the judo titan who took the world by storm, his story is a testament to the relentless will of the human spirit. Born in 1917 amidst the rising sun of Japan, Kimura's story began. Like the cherry blossoms in spring, his talent bloomed early. By the age of 9, his body moved with the rhythms of judo, an art form that became as vital to him as breathing. His young mind absorbed techniques like pages soaked in ink until the age of 15, when he proclaimed himself ready to challenge and defeat all of Japan's young judo masters. Masahiko Kimura became a name that resonated through the halls of every dojo. At a time when the world was at war, young Kimura found solace and purpose within the straw mats. He rose through the ranks with the ferocity of a storm, sweeping up victory after victory. Six times he was crowned All Japan Judo Champion, an unrivaled record that narrated his supremacy. Kimura wasn't just a fighter, he was a visionary sculpting the very essence of judo with his hands and feet. His greatest contribution lay not in the gold medals that hung around his neck, but in the techniques that bore his name. The most famous among these is the Kimura Lock, a grappling maneuver so unique, so effective, that it transcended the world of judo into the broader realms of mixed martial arts. This technique was more than a submission hold. It was a symbol of his innovative spirit and his eternal influence on martial arts. And there's this legend of a match that crossed continents and cultures. In 1951, Kimura faced Helio Gracie, a patriarch of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, in a bout that would echo through time. The match was more than a competition, it was the confluence of Eastern and Western martial philosophies. And when Kimura finally subdued Gracie with his eponymous lock, it was not just a man that was defeated, but a boundary that was transcended. But who was Kimura beyond the mat? He was a craftsman dedicated to honing his skills, believing not only in physical strength, but in the strength of character. In the world of Baki, Ruichiro Hanma exemplifies the zenith of martial prowess a character whose essence is imbued with the same relentless pursuit of martial excellence. Yuichiro Hanma, in his godlike strength and unwavering discipline, is a nod to the real-world titan who shaped an art form and became its legend. As the sun set on his life, Masahiko's days became quieter. His impact, however, resonated louder than ever throughout the judo world and beyond. His death in 1993 marked the end of an era and the beginning of a legacy. A trail of inspiration that would ignite the hearts of countless martial artists to strive for the greatness that once was Kimura's very essence. His spirit, skill, and dedication continue to wrestle at the very heart of martial arts tales. His legend, much like the character Yuichiro Hanma, symbolizes the pinnacle of martial valor and the unyielding pursuit of greatness. As we recount his life and relive his victories, we keep the fire of his legacy burning bright, reminding us that within us all lives the spirit of a fighter the heart of a champion, and the soul of a legend. In remembering Kimura, we don't just remember the man, we invoke the philosophy of judo itself, to use maximum efficiency with minimum effort. It is this philosophy that breathes life into every twist of the Kimura lock, into every frame of Hanma Yuichiro. And that's the tale of Masahiko Kimura, the man behind the legend of Yuichiro Hanma. I'm surprised and saddened to find my child struggling against one of his own. Baki, my boy. You know you can beat her, if you want. <laughs> so, what do you guys think of Masahiko Kimura? Do you think he embodies the spirit of Yuichiro Hanma? Comment down your opinion below.